Alright everyone, we're going to be working with this book. Um, we want to be focusing ourselves on the laws of exponents since it's a big part when it comes to doing CXC on Atlib and we want to focus on that today. Um, since if you have the book, it's this one, I have the green one. They have the updated ones, the other colors. And then what you could do is just find lots of indices and then you will have all the problems right there. All right? So let's get started. Today we're going to be focusing on the laws of indices or what we call the laws of exponents. Laws of indices. In total, we have around six of them. We have the first one which is going to be e to the n times e to the m equals e to the n plus the m right so far i think you guys are all lost right now what this is telling you this is telling you that if the bases are the same and then you could see it there the base put it there right if the bases are the same if the bases are the same then what we could do with the powers or the exponents is that we could add them and then our result is whatsoever we get after adding the two base, the, the two exponents, right? Example, let's say you have x to the third times x to the second. Notice also whenever I'm teaching, my x has a little tail here at the top and my times doesn't my x has a tail my times doesn't right so it's x to the third times x to the second following laws of exponents of law or laws of indices then what i could do is i could say x the base the, the, the power 3 plus the power 2 so it's going to be 3 plus 2 which gives me x 3 I'm sorry x 3 plus 2 which is 5 right and that is what we have that is what the first law is saying that if you have CMBS you could add the powers right another example example 2 if we have 3 x to the fifth times 2 x to the fourth y times 4xy square right now notice also that even though um, it is not there you can see that we have powers for some numbers and then powers and then some of them does not have power so let's analyze what we have if you take a look at the tree the tree does not have a power but with but we know that if it does not have a power it will always be one right x has a power which is five two does not has a does not have a power so we have a power of one x has a power of four and then y does not have a power so the power 
we put it as one. X, I'm sorry, four does not have a power, so it's going to be one, and then X is going to be one. All right? So anytime that you see that the number, the coefficient, which is called the coefficient, or the letter does not have a power, we will always put a one. Right? Now, take a look at the numbers. Three, two, four, all of them are different. So in this case, for the numbers, we're just going to say three times two, times four which gives me three times two six six times four twenty four so we're going to put twenty four for the numbers because we couldn't apply the powers or the law of indices in this case because they are different now the x x to the fifth times x to the fourth times x to the first clear we're separating it but at the, at the end we're just going to join them we have x to the fifth x to the fourth x to the first because the bases are the same x x x then we could apply the laws of indices that says x to the fifth plus the fourth and then if it, do, it did not have a power we said it's going to be one so it's going to be plus one at the end so you end up with x to the five six seven eight nine ten ten right so that takes care of the x's now let's take a look at the y if you take a look at the first term here there's no y so we don't have to worry about that one if you take a look at this part here you have a y and that's going to be y to the first times and then this last term has a y to the second so that's going to be apply laws of indices why do we apply laws of indices? Because the bases are the same. Y and Y. This one, X, X, and X. Right? This one, we did not apply it because this is a 4, this is a 2, and this is a 3. So we, we just multiplied it, normal multiplication. Equals Y, 1 plus 2, and then my answer is Y to the third. Hence, it is 24 x to the tenth y to the third. Right? So that's very easy. Let's quickly take a look at another one and then let's see what we're going to do. Let's say that you have this example we have 5 to the first y x to the second y to the first times 3 x y to the third times 4 x to the fourth y in this case notice that what we were what what i was doing is i was placing the one for the five because it had no power a one for the y because it had no power a 1 for the 3 because it has no power a 1 for the x because it has no power the y has the power 3 the 4 has a power of 1 the x has a power of 4 and then the y has a power of 1 let's take a look at the numbers in terms of the numbers notice that it's a 5 a 3 and a 4 are the bases the same no so we are not able to apply laws of indices for that one. So we, were going, we are going to say 5 times 3 times 4. Right? 5 times 3 times 4. 
5 times 3, that's going to be 15. And then 15 times 4, that's going to be 60, if I'm not wrong. Right? Let's take a look at the x now. If we take a look at the x, we have x here, we have x here, we have x here. We could say x to the second times x to the first times x to the fourth, right? We can notice that now we have the x to the first here because it did not have any power, but we know it has a 1 or it should be a 1. So we know that the bases are the same here, x, 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 so we could apply laws of indices, which is x, 2, plus 1, plus 4, your answer is x to the 4, 5, 6, 7, x to the 7th, right? Last one, we have a y too, so if we have y, we have y here, that's y to the 1st, times y to the third times y to the first my answer is y to the first plus three plus one i hope you guys are getting the gist about this one it's quite easy and then it's going to be y one two three four five to the fifth and then your final answer is 60 x to the seventh y to the fifth that's the first law of indices the one that says a to the n times a to the m equals to a n plus m where it is just telling you that the bases need to be the same or the same number or the same letters and then what do you do with the powers? You just add them. And then you have the examples below. Right?